thank you for being here, pal. I know you, Thanks for you, having you, me here. You were very nice and performed on our show before, which we loved, but now I get to actually talk to you, which is fun. Sick. Well, yeah, this is sick, right? Yeah. Yeah, that's sick. Uh, but I'm happy I get to, 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 to talk to you and people get to, to know you. And uh, I want to recap your year, if you don't mind. Uh, Let's go. First of all, you're starring the biggest show on TV, Euphoria. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Season two, the ratings are, are up like a thousand percent from rating. I'm just saying, from season one, I'm just saying, there's a reason why. Uh, you're nominated. Oh, oh, me. Oh. Yeah, you're the reason, yeah. Uh, and then you're nominated for your first Grammy Award. Yeah. Not too shabby. Sick, daddy. Yeah, not yeah, bad. Yeah, I'm psyched. And then, you know what I gotta say? I, the coolest thing, I, it's got has to be the coolest thing. Paul McCartney is, you know, one of my favorites and one of my idols. I love that. Uh, millions of people do. Exactly. Uh, is McCartney three uh, came out, great album. Then he's a genius. He's like, I'm gonna put out the new album called McCartney Three Imagined, mm. with his handpicked favorite new artist, favorite artist, and they just do one of his new songs. And you crushed it, by the way. Thank you hit a home, dude. You. Thank you crushed it. Thank you. Uh, what was that like uh, getting the phone call from uh, Paul McCartney asking you to be on his album? Uh, I mean, naturally, like when you get a call from anything that you think is spam, you block the number, you delete it, and you fucking, you know what I mean? You, you block Paul McCartney's number? Immediately, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I can't, you didn't believe it was real. You go, this is not Paul no. McCartney calling. I still don't. Yeah. I don't even know if what's happening right now is. <laughs> Yeah, you're here. You're on the Tonight Show, bud. Yeah, we're talking. Yeah. Uh, are you? Uh... <laughs> but that must have been surreal. Are, were you a Beatles fan? Huge Beatles fan. When I was a kid, actually, I got made fun of a lot for listening to the Beatles. Really? I grew up in Florida. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. I don't know what they don't like the Beatles in Florida. There's a lot of stuff they don't like in Florida. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my but, goodness! Um, but yeah, then you then you then you said, hey, no, you guys got to check out the Beatles. They're on a next level. <laughs> no, I succumbed to the pressure. I just, I just started listening to things like Laffy Taffy and like Nelly, and I, just, <laughs> I got through high school, man. <laughs> what do you want me to do? Laffy Taffy. Oh yeah. my God. Uh, but you, you, I know you're working on a studio album. Okay, your second studio album. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I know. What can you tell us? Can you tell us anything? Uh, is, is I'm actually right up the road in Alair Studio. Um, the studios, the, it's like the, Nora Jones recorded her first couple albums there, and Bowie has his stuff all over there. Wait, is that by Woodstock? Is that in Woodstock? Right there. 15 yeah. minutes away That's from Woodstock. That's where I grew up. Stop it. No. <laughs> I grew up, yeah. Yeah. You, you're in Florida. I'm Socrates. Yeah. <laughs> I'm in New York. That's me, man. I can, I can totally show you where, yeah, I can take you to my parents' house yeah. if you want to, yeah. Really? Yeah, you need anything, man. You can come stay over if you want, whatever you want, man. Anything? You need a place to crash, man. You just call me, man. I'm your guy. So yeah. I, I have your number, right? Can I get it? Yeah, it's under spam in your... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> uh, by the way, I heard that on the finale this weekend, there might be a sneak peek of one of your new songs. Where do you hear stuff like that? What are you talking about? I'm Jimmy Fallon, dude. I hear everything. I know, I, I know everything about it. I mean, yeah. What, do you know anything about it? Um... No. Okay, wow. All right, maybe I made it up. I might have made it up, but I don't think I did. Uh, I, I, I want to, uh, but there's stuff on the internet saying that it, there might be a new song from you. Just saying, that there's would be cool if there was. The internet, Speaking but... of what's on the internet, yeah. there's, a lot of, uh, there's a lot of fan theories about Euphoria mm. and your character. Oh, yeah, yeah. And I was wondering if you could <laughs> maybe are. talk about a couple of the theories yeah. and see if you yeah. can hint to maybe they're true or not. Let's do it. You play Elliot on the show. Mm -hmm. uh, one is that Elliot is actually Nate's estranged brother. Could that be true? I mean, uh... No. I'm not even gonna lie, I saw this one online. Okay. And I looked at it for a while and there were so many things connecting and so many people were talking about it all through these Reddit threads and at the end of it I was like, Am I Nate's brother? <laughs> <laughs> You're like, yeah, maybe it could be true. Yeah, it might be. I almost called him up and asked him. Though. Uh, Okay, uh, Elliot, oh, I love this one. This one I actually love. Oh. Elliot doesn't actually exist. He's a figment <laughs> of Rue's imagination. Oh my gosh. You wish. <laughs> uh, will, last one. Will Tom Holland appear in the Euphoria finale? <laughs> tell us, tell us right now! Come on, tell us! I knew, I knew I was gonna hear Tom's name. Like, Come on, dude. Dominic, you can tell everyone right now, is Tom Holland on this weekend? What I can tell you is that Tom's a, 
surprisingly nice guy for being Spider-Man. You know, because you assume as Spider-Man you can do whatever you want. You can walk into any room and just it's a man stuff. point at someone's girlfriend. You know what I mean? It, either way. <laughs> he doesn't do that. He no. points at his girlfriend and kisses her on the mouth. Yeah. And it's nice. It's a good, yeah. No, I know. Sweet. Yeah. Um, he's how's, actually how's really Zendaya? good. She's, how are the, all the actors? I mean, did they? They're they... amazing people. You know, you expect actors to be a little bit. They don't tell you as much about their private lives as musicians do. The musicians just get in there and tell you everything. You know everything. Well. Open book. Well, ish. Well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. To a point. To it, yeah. Yeah, but actors keep it quiet? They do, don't they? What do we really know about you, Jimmy? <laughs> I don't know how to make a sandwich. That's one thing we learned. <laughs> uh, but the show is already renewed for season three. Do you think we'll see you back in season three? Absolutely, yeah. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Uh, you're going to perform for us uh, tonight. Yeah. Uh, first, I want to show a clip. Uh, here's Dominic Fike and Zendaya in Euphoria. Take a look at this. You know, I feel like nobody in my life understands that, like, drugs are honestly the only way I can be myself. Yeah, I, I don't think that's true. No, it is true. Like, when I first met you, I would have never had the balls to just, like, come up to you and talk to you. Why? I'm oh, just like a deeply shy person. <laughs> and like with Jules, right? Like, when I first met her, I was just immediately in love. <laughs> in love? Yeah. When you say it out loud, it kind of sounds small. What's a bigger feeling than love? Ah, that's how you do it right there. Baby, yeah, baby. Dominic Fike, everybody, check out season two finale of Euphoria Sunday night on HBO and HBO Max. Hey, hey.